Give him the starting job back. Uh, disappointed. That's part of the game. How you feeling? Feel good. Yeah. It's most, most is, important thing. Is there anything that you feel you still need to, you know, ramp up to at this point? Or you feel like you're you know, right back in the swing of things? Yeah, I feel like I'm right back in the swing of things. Um, I don't know how you ramp up from a rib injury. Um, but everything that I've done rehab-wise, it's been positive. Uh, no setbacks along the last five weeks. Um, five and a half, five minutes of change. Uh, thankful for the progression. Uh, just God's healing throughout the process. But I feel good. Feel back to my normal self. How do you know you're ready to be able to take the hits? Is there, is there a way to, um, to know that? I don't think you ever really know. Um, I mean, yeah, you can't really simulate it. Obviously, on the field, quarterbacks, we don't get hit. So there's really no way to predict it up until that point either. Um, but I will say everything that they've tested, um, I passed uh, with flying colors. So. How did he explain the? How did he explain the decision to you? That was a conversation that we had yesterday. No, oh, how? Like, like what reason did he give? Um, same reason he gave y'all. That it gives the team the best chance to win, and Tommy earned it. Is that what he said? Yeah. Explain. Do you agree with that? Um, Tommy has played, uh, he stepped in and played well. Uh, the opportunity he's given him. Um, obviously, injury and time off is always tough. Um, I would just say my, my injury just had bad timing to him. Um, we won two games, the last two games. Try to keep some momentum going forward. Um, obviously, yes, I want to be out there playing. Um, like I told y'all before, I believe in timing and God's timing and everything happens for a reason. So I'll continue to keep uh, trusting the process. And, uh, taking it one day with the journey uh, that God is putting for me. Tyra, do you think you've been treated fairly? Um, I don't think life is fair, so I think that's an unfair question, to be honest. Um, I don't know if it's fair in this business. Um, some, some, some stuff happened that's out of your control. And, uh, unfortunately, this is one of them. Um, in the grand scheme of things, this rib injury was kind of out of my control. Um, the main thing is that I've bounced back and that I'm 100% healthy. And if the opportunity presents itself where well, I'm able to go out there and uh, perform, uh, and help this team win, then I'll be ready to do so. Who would back up think? on Sunday, just to be clear? Uh, we will be the backup right a, now on Sunday, as, as the, we know. Yeah, that's the conversation that the trainers and the coach has to have. Okay. Obviously, there, we have a few more days of practice before we get there, but that's the conversation that they got to have. Was there a conversation, I guess, when you were talking with Dable, what it would take to win back the starting job? No. No. What you do you think? Is that something you wanted to talk about with Dable, or you kind of wish it brought up? Um, no comment. A lot of times people say, can't, can't, can't lose your starting job to injury. What do you think about that at this I've point? I've had that happen a number of times. I say that statement is false. But to you, it's just the nature of the business. Um, it's the nature of the business. Obviously, this this league is a right now league. It's not what I've been done in the past. Um, it's really about what, what makes sense right now. Um, the coach feels this. Well, coach feels that this is a right decision for the team. And, I mean, I, I support the decisions. That our, our coaches make, that uh, our personnel, people who make decisions on personnel. I trust that day in and day out. Uh, was it a reason? On the, the other end of it. I mean, it's, it's tough. I mean, obviously, it's a competitor. Um, not being able to go out there once healthy, I mean, it hurts, but at the same time, like I said, it's the nature of the business. Were you expecting? Your contract is up at the end of the year, and they really want to see how much he can give them. I'm not sure. It's beyond my, my thought process. To be honest. Were you expecting? Mean, so you, you're injured. You know, you're cleared yesterday. Were you expecting you just take back over the start? Like, were you surprised when you found out you weren't gonna be the starter? Um, no comment. Yeah, no comment.
Tyrod, with, with the injury itself, were you concerned about the ribs? And like, can, we, we didn't get a chance to talk to you. They didn't let us talk to you when you were on injured reserve. Mm -hmm. Can you just take back, us back for just a moment about the injury, the healing process? Was there any time where there was, um, you know, a, a time that you didn't know if you'd get back this season? Um, no, just a conversation I had with the docs at the hospital on the day that I did get injured. I mean, obviously, once them, once they told me what actual injury was, um, I thought it was a chance that I could come back before they gave me the window of six weeks or whatever it was at the time. Um, I felt strongly enough that I could come back before that. Um, obviously, I was in pain, but that lasted maybe the first 10 days of it. And after that, um, I felt fine since then. Did you have multiple broken ribs? Four. Four broken ribs. What's Four broken ribs. Were they worried about the, where they were broken, where the ribs were? Um, early on, yes. Uh, out of the four, only two of them were displaced. Um, I mean, you have sometimes where people fracture ribs, but they're not displaced, so it doesn't put you at harm. But where these, um, where the displacement was on the two that were uh, broken, um, yeah, early on, it kind of just put a little risk just for the internal organs. So once you heal back from that, um, everything's back to full go. Do you think how you carry yourself should matter in moments like this? Like how you've been as a teammate, how you've been as a player for the organization, how you were working so hard to get back through four broken ribs? Like when it's time for you to get healthy and to name a starter, do you think those things should matter um, in these I mean, moments? Whether they do or not, I'm, I'm, I'm always the same person. Uh, I don't think that my mood changes based on circumstances. Um, I've been dealt, or I've had my fair share of hiccups throughout my career, um, but I've been the same person from, from day one. Uh, and I'll continue, to, I'll continue to be that person, leading the way that I know how to lead, help the team in the way that I can help and if the opportunity presents itself. Um, again, and I'll be ready to go out there and play uh, one in football. Um, yeah, it's, like I said, from the first question, it's tough, it's disappointing, but it's also out of my control. Tyra, given what, what you have come back from now, you're, you know, we're learning for broken ribs, obviously the Chargers situation. I mean, do you feel incredibly fortunate? Because it seems to me like both of those situations could have gone even worse than they did. Yeah, I'm um, definitely thankful. I mean, anytime you get a chance to lace up the cleats and play the game that you love to play, um, Thankful for that. Yeah. Thank God every time I go out there for able body and opportunity to be able to do what I love to do. Um, so being able to go back on the football field today with the guys, I know y'all see me working out in the indoor, like kind of isolated, right. but it's not the same as being out there on the field. It's just a different feeling. And yeah. thankful to be back out there in any capacity. Um, like I said, if the opportunity presents itself where I come back and I am the starter at some point, obviously I'm. I'm excited for that, um, but if that doesn't present itself, then we'll deal with it when it, uh, how it plays out. You're obviously very last disappointed one, about one. this, right? What has been the reaction that you've received from your teammates? I mean, those guys have supported me. Um, they know what playing and competing means to me. Um, but I've been supporting those guys as well, too. Um, in the absence of me being out there to play, I chose to travel um, to Vegas, chose to go to Washington. Obviously here um, and Dallas as well too, just to support those guys, and try to help them in any way. I've seen a lot of football, played a lot of football. Um, and anything that I can give those guys um, along the way, whether I'm out there or not, I'm always in support. And I think that they respect that, they appreciate that. So the support. I mean, obviously, with me being back out there, not a warm feeling, but at the end of the day. Um, not really too much thoughts to how I feel or anything, and it shouldn't be. I mean, the focus right now is trying to go get a win this this Monday coming up. I'm um, getting at, do you think they believe that it gives them the best chance to win? Like, have you heard from them about that? Um, I would say everyone in this locker room 